Sometimes people give you advice and you just won't listen. Well, today's one of those moments. Today we're going to talk about Tucumcari, New Mexico on Route 66. Howdy folks, welcome to Meandering Across America. In today's Route 66 Spotlight, we are featuring Tucumcari, New Mexico. When we went through Tucumcari, it was in the November time frame, uh, and we went on a Sunday. Two different things that we needed to consider, because when we were way back at Santa Monica Pier several years earlier, they would say, oh, make sure and pencil in a good bit of time in Tucumcari. When we were trying to schedule where we were, where we were going uh, on our second leg of Route 66, when we went from Gallup, New Mexico to Chicago, this was one of the areas we were going to be going through. And again, we didn't listen to those folks, but we should have. So here's some things we saw in Tucumcari and the takeaways we have from Tucumcari when we went there. Well, the first thing when we were driving from west to east, and that's the direction we were going here, when we went from west to east, one of the first things that we ran across was the Tucumcari Trading Post. Now, it was not open, but as we went through there, it was a kind of a cool place to even pull off on the side of the road and look at. You could tell that if it were a different time of the season or maybe a different day of the week, it would have been open, but a cool first thing to see as we were going into town. Next up, we spent a little time at the Route 66 uh, statue, the tail fin statue. Anytime we get to any of those, we love to get out. We loved looking at them. We loved uh, taking pictures, of course, as you will see here. We also loved anytime there was the Route 66 in the road to do that as well. A perfect photo opportunity here entering on the west side of Tucumcari. And as we started going through town, we realized, wow, there's a lot here. Because, of course, we've been through, uh, from Santa Monica all the way to Chicago. A lot of cool little towns. But this one, you could tell, really had a lot of different places to stay back in the day. Still does today. And as you were going through it, uh, you would see all of these differing hotels. All of these differing old hotels with the old signs, which was really awesome to see. Also, there were just so, so, so many murals. I, I was amazed at that. On so many buildings, on the side of buildings, on fences, just all over the place. It was, uh, you could do a, a video, spend a day alone just going through and looking at the murals and trying to figure out who did them, what they're about, and so forth and so on. A very awesome thing to see here in Tucumcari. Now, we loved stopping at the Blue Swallow Hotel. Uh, it was not open when we were there, but of course you could drive up to it. You could uh, see the, the main lobby. You could see the car that was sitting out front on that given time. But you couldn't stay there if you wanted to. If you go in the summer, you can definitely stay there. Hopefully at some point in the future, I can go back and stay there. Uh, we love this specific site. My wife and I got engaged at a cozy cone at uh, Walt Disney World at one of the hotels at the Art of Animation Hotel. And this one reminded us of that because in the, in the Pixar movie Cars, uh, this was kind of a combination. The lobby from this location, as well as the little doors going around, kind of combined with the wigwams that are located on Route 66, the one we stayed at in San Bernardino. Put those two together and you had a really, uh, really cool sight uh, that you could see here in Tucumcari. But of course, we took our pictures there. We walked around it. Um, my wife and I got engaged under Cozy Cone Number One at Walt Disney World at the uh, at a Cozy Cone, which is kind of like the first room we stood here at the Blue Swallow. Overall, uh, a cool little spot and a place I definitely want to go back to and stay sometime in the future. Also, this place and the lobby of it specifically reminds me so much of if you go to Disney's California Adventure out at Disneyland, the lobby of this is so similar to the lobby in the Pixar Cars movies related to uh, Sally's Cozy Cone Hotel. You can tell that they took this specifically, especially the lobby of this, and, and put it into that movie. We visited the Tucumcari Welcome Center. Uh, we went in and 
Honestly, the folks there were not very welcoming on this specific day, but that's fine. We walked around. We saw the things that were located in the Welcome Center. A lot of it was kind of a gift shop, or a local shop of things that you could purchase. They had restrooms that the people there didn't want us using unless we planned on buying something. Not very welcoming there from that point of view. But you could tell in season that this was a place that you could stop in, see, maybe get good directions to things, maybe get advice for places that were open. Um, but that was about it on this given day. So all right, it was about two o'clock in the afternoon. We needed lunch. We had been, we started out in Albuquerque. We had gone through several different areas. We had been through Santa Rosa. We spent a lot of this time actually on uh, I-40 because that's the section where it's kind of hard to get off and go on the old sections of Route 66. So we were off on, on I-40, maybe to about the Santa Rosa portion. But then we rode it to uh, Tucumcari. When we got there about 2 o'clock, we are ready to eat. Of course, the people at the visitor center said, well, most things were shut down, and there were most of the steakhouses and the local places that we do love to stop at and eat at. Uh, the one thing we finally started driving out towards the I-40 area off of Route 66, and there were several chain restaurants, but we noted a place that was Blake's uh, Lotta Burger, I think is what it was called, but Blake's is more of a local type of chain. Uh, they put peppers on their burgers and things like that. So we had a little bit of the local flair there, even though it, it was somewhat fast foodish, but I'm glad we tried it. Uh, it was, you know, gave us enough fuel to continue our journey down the road. The other place we did stop and spend a little bit of time at, as you'll see here, we stopped at TP Curios. We were hoping it was going to be open. It wasn't open. We kind of knew that before we even got here. But we got out, took pictures, because again, it is one of those iconic things that you'll see in pictures, that you'll see at the museums, that we saw in the museums when we got to Oklahoma. And you can see just all over online all the time. So that was a cool spot to take pictures, especially on this day. We could walk around, get that done. And, and that was really a, a good photo opportunity for this given Sunday in November. So Tucumcari overall, I could see where this would be a, a really awesome place to visit during the summer months. Again, if you haven't watched our other videos, we have a video out there about the best time to, to travel on Route 66. The summer is the best for so many reasons, the daylight. But this is the other one. It's places being open. And in the summer, well, I could see this uh, area of Tucumcari being an area that would be open, a lot of things being open. There's a lot of, of local hotels you could stay at in this area, which I think would be a very cool thing. Uh, you could go to the local restaurants then, hopefully, as well. And I just see at nighttime this place really lighting up. There's so many places on Route 66. We had just left Albuquerque, and at night, Albuquerque's a bigger city. But so much of the Route 66 area was all lit up in Albuquerque. I see Tucumcari being the same type of situation, honestly, if we were there at night. So I again hope sometime in the future, uh, we do want to, instead of going west to east, go east to west and to stay here and to stay overnight here, to see, uh, you know, to stay in one of, the, one of the old hotels, to see perhaps the old lights and the old neon lit up. I think all of that put together would be make this a very enjoyable place to stop and see during the prime summer months. So Tucumcari overall, definitely plan to spend some time there. Definitely go the right time of year. If you're going to spend the night there, I know uh, the Blue Swallow and places like that, you need to plan ahead and try to get a room because there's an, a limited amount of rooms. Uh, but overall, I think a wonderful stop on Route 66, something that you should plan on doing and plan on spending some time there, if at all possible. Folks, thanks so much for watching. If you would, check out our other Route 66 videos. We have uh, several extended videos starting in Gallup, New Mexico, going all the way to Chicago. We're also going to be posting our other portions sometime in the future from Santa Monica all the way to Gallup. I'm also posting these shorter uh, area videos such as this one. If you go back, we started in, in Gallup. We have several in Gallup and Albuquerque and all along the way, and we're going to continue eastward right now. This one's on Tucumcari. The next one we're going to post is actually on Old Dirt 66 between San John, New Mexico and, uh, and uh, Glen Rio, Texas. So everybody, until next time, happy meandering.